house and check out that one area that it won't tell me and I don't know where that is so we're just gonna check all the places because I don't know where I'm going because I don't know what that one area is that's kind of really annoying uh, I don't know where I'm going what the fuck wait should I go is that where I'm going should I go to the bathroom I don't think it was the bathroom I think you're a liar Manny, if you're gonna help me, help me, okay? Don't troll me, bro. Ugh, I don't think it was here. And it definitely was not this bloody room. With all the merrier and yeah. Uh, I don't know any place that has, like, a red thing in it. Uh-oh. Where did Kyoko like to hang out? Like, why no clues, man? Is it, is it here? Is it this thing? Nope. It wasn't this thing. Is it those things? Nope, wasn't those things. Um, can I get into this locker? Nope, it's not that thing. I can't do any of the things I want. where I just came from. I'm bad. Um, I need to get out of here and try to figure out where I need to be. I have zero clues. Zero. Uh, da 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 They guys went in the circle. Okay, that's the music room. Um, that's the tenant. No, that's the office room. Is there anything in here? I don't think anything that blew up. I think it was. Yeah, it's just boring. Just boring, get it. Uh, hmm. I can't even check that box. What the frick? Leaving this audio. Okay, let's go downstairs. Where the hell would I have seen a fragment like that before? That's what I want to know. I have no clue. I 
gosh, it'll be the bathroom because I'm not checking it. That'll be my luck. Like, oh, you decided not to check the bathroom. You're lost, idiot. Like, whatever. Maybe I need to do in the girl's bathroom. No, definitely not. Oh, okay. Oh, I can go to the guy's bathroom. Nothing in here, man. Not a damn thing. Oh, wait. That's the room. This weird bathroom place. Oh. Also, at least the secret room, I should probably avoid going in and out of that too much. Oh, okay. I thought I wanted to go to the secret room, but I guess I don't want to go to the secret room. Alright. So, we're not going to the secret room anymore. Because there's a secret room, apparently. Nobody needs it. Um, a library? I just passed the library. Okay. Um, I like how I knew it has it, and I still like, didn't turn around. I'm good at life. They can't be stuck punching at school or a year ago because stuff and things happen. Blah blah blah. There's a serious issue set in the first place and stuff and things. Nothing is bothered. We can figure out why you went to the prison. Everyone that we have to get us out of here or not. So I read that letter so many times I just like don't care anymore. So if you weren't there, it's not my fault. I'm not really reading it at all. <laughs> it's too much. It's talking about the secret council revealing the kind of truth Congress should be on here. What? That has nothing to do with my investigation right now. So let's get the fuck out of here. Huh. Why is this happening to me? I wish I knew where I was supposed to get it. You think you know where it is once I give up? What, why don't you? Okay, man, where should I go? Because pretty much just gonna keep searching every single place. <laughs> Flotation donut, can I get into this case? Go. Can I go to the girls or no? It's lovely! Da, 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 da. Posters back on the wall. I don't think there's anything in this locker uh, anymore. And I can do a case. Nothing to do with this.
was it Kim Lab? Did I miss something? What did I miss? Game, just tell me. Uh, that piece of shit. So our blood is stored. We're not a vampire, so we'll need it. I need it. Um, I guess. Okay, I missed something. Oh, the gym, uh, the gym, I forgot about the gym, god damn it, I am so dumb, it has to be here, right, correct, right, inside this play case, our trophies, uh, I'm gonna kind of bored looking at it, you know what, I'm bored looking at you, Makoto, how about that, I'm bored of you, and your sass, okay, um, that thing, yeah, all the things, Here? Is it this? Michael was laying this mess on the floor, but I figured it wouldn't be here. You know? I just found something. What is it? it it's. Huh? It's what? Hm. A bomb. There's one installed in every Monokuma robot, I'm sure. <laughs> a bomb! Oh, la 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 bomba! Da 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 la 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 Sorry. And that bomb went missing. There's no doubt about that. The fragments I found in the garden. Oh, I'm so smart, guys. I did it. Oh, I don't know if you said it, Manny, but I didn't read it yet. So, oh yeah, if it's not the gym, I don't remember yet. Okay, well, I actually figured out before I read that. But thank you. <laughs> that took forever. I figured it out. I, I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> fragments near the dead body has been updated. Okay, I've checked everything else I can think of. All that's left now is Kyoko's room. I should head back to the garden and ask Yakuya. Oh, I should have to walk there? I mean, I could do the map, but I think it would turn off my stream if I'm correct. I forget which one it is. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm just gonna walk back there. Because at least now I know I'm going. Ish. <laughs> oh my god. Some chick nuggets don't like me, man. That's a uh, thing. Okay, yeah. Up the stairs we go. And yes, this is how I always um, play this game. Like, it's not, I'm not playing any special way for this game. I'm always fucking weird, so. Yeah, it's something you guys can look forward to if you actually watch the rest of my uh, Dangarambas on the YouTube. <laughs> and those ones I actually usually play back to back, so I kind of knew what was going on. <laughs> like now, where I'm just like totally lost. And like, I don't know what I'm doing anymore, guys. Let's just go with it, shall we? Hey, 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 it's later now. Yeah, yeah. Is it later enough? I don't know what to do with this giant head, it's like in my face right now. You think you can go soon, Yakya? Let's go. You wanted to check out Kyoko's room, right? Very well. Let's go. Uh, wait for me! Yakyo walked off without a second glance, and I hurried after him on our way to the door. Bow, 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 yeah, 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 sorry. I'm like, overexcited. Let's do this! I can't unlock- oh, what the hell? I mean, he's like standing right there, it's obvious. Like, Yakyo, open the fucking door, you piece of shit. <laughs> well then, here we go. Yakyo took out the key and slid it into the keyhole, and then... Click. And it's open. And boom goes the dynamite. Looks like it. Thanks, you dumb bitch. Oh, this is so weird. I don't like being in her room. Ugh. So this is Kyoko's room. It's very boring. And what is this? The number six. Or is it a nine? There's something on the table. Oh, it's a wood block decoration. What? What's that? What purpose does it have? I mean, serve. Same thing. I think it's probably a key. <laughs> the lockers have those really traditional public bathhouse to use them for their lockers. Really? Really? I was just over there, but I didn't have the key. So, yeah, I guess that's why. I wouldn't know. I've never gone to a public bathhouse. Of course not, because you're a fucking rich snob, so you don't need it. It doesn't really surprise me. It's hard to picture Bianca doing something like that. It's certainly but if it possible. Is a key, I think I might know what it unlocks. Really? What? Hmm. Unless I'm mistaken. 
I'm pretty sure I saw something in the dojo that this might go to. The dojo? Duh! We were just there! Oh my god! Things are happening, guys. I am excited. Here's her bed. Oh, this is where Kyoko sleeps. Oh, a dream. Sorry. I don't see anything interesting here. At least not as far as the case is concerned. Um, you know what? Fuck you, Makoto. I think it has everything to do. There really is nothing in this goddamn room. Oh, okay. Here's the bathroom. She might have certain articles hanging out to dry. I'd better not look inside. Oh my god. This guy's such a fucking tool, man. I'm scared I might see her underwear. Hey, I think it would be wise to look around a bit more. Um, 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 yeah? You fucking think so? What the hell? I have to literally look at everything? I don't care. I don't care about this stuff. Actually, no, it's all useless no matter what. Yeah, I know. I knew that. If I just click it again, like what? Do you want me it's to do? It's certainly possible. Hmm. Yeah, the dojo. The dojo? The dojo. The dojo, dojo? The dojo, dojo, dojo. Yes. Can we go now? What? Do I have to talk to you? Like, what is going what? on? You wanted to come here, right? So what is it you're looking for? Nothing in particular. I just thought we might find some kind of clue. A clue that might help us understand Kyoto. Come on. You can't be serious. That's why you made me take this time in my research, in my search to come here. Whatever. So, sorry. Hmm. Regardless, if you plan on poking around at random, you're doomed no matter how much time you take. Surely you have something more concrete. Concrete? Why is concrete such a weird word? Concrete. Concrete. Something uh, to give us some sort of direction here. More concrete. Oh, I know! Earlier, Kyoko gave me something. Huh? What's this? It's true. Consider it a symbol of my determination. Don't open it yet. Only open it if something ever happens to me. Well, looks like something happened to me now, so let's open it! What's in the envelope? Kyoko gave it to me. She said if something ever happened, I should open it. <laughs> Well, something has certainly happened, so open it. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, I opened the envelope and looked inside. Inside was a single piece of paper. Under the sheets. What? Ooh, baby, getting me all hot under the collar. That's all that was in there. Yeah, it looks like it. Under the sheets, what could it be? Uh, I don't know, that's my wedding noise. Don't make fun of me. Um, <laughs> Like, could something be hidden under the bed sheets? Is that what under the sheets mean? Damn, I thought she wanted to have sex. I'm sad. Part of me didn't expect to find anything, but as I lifted up the sheets. What's this? I found a crumpled up piece of paper. Class number 78, student registry. Mufuro Ukasaba. I see. It appears to be a new pro with a profile. Yeah, it looks like it. Is this, we just, that's all we know how to say. Yeah, it looks like it. We just know how to agree with Bianca at this point. That's probably the other thing Kyoko stole when she snuck into the headmaster's room along with the key. <sighs> God, you're so annoying! Fine, I'll tell you! It was a key and fuck that! <laughs> I don't know. It was a key and shit. That's it. This must be the blank that Monokuma was talking about. No, it was the shit that Monokuma was talking about. Kyoko said a death without meaning was unappealing, and that is what she left behind. <laughs> I don't have time for your sentimental indulgences. I hope you finish your search. Oh, okay. I made an effort to put myself together and look down at the profile sheet. Whatever. Name. Yukuro Ukosawa. Sex. Female. The ultimate soldier. Ooh. Although small for her age, she was a military specialist trained in every weapon type imaginable. She showed an interest in the military from childhood, and soon found herself completely absorbed in it. In elementary school, she won a survival game tournament and began writing for military magazines. Just before entering middle school, while she and her family were on vacation in Europe, she disappeared. The story of a young Japanese girl being kidnapped quickly took over Japanese media outlets. An intense international investigation turned up no information, and she was never found. However, she reappeared in Japan three years later, alone, and completely unannounced. She revealed that she had joined a mercenary group known as Finrir for those three years. She insisted that she had been kidnapped, that she received battle training for her own volition. Volition? Volition. Word. 
Insert word here. However, she never revealed why she decided to return home when she did. Volition? I don't know what that word means. I mean, I, I think it's just like her own, like she volunteered, but you know what? I just never heard it stated that way. It's kind of cool. What else? Okay, Hugo's profile has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. I'm not going to remember it. The ultimate soldier, a mercenary group. Thin mirror! This doesn't feel real. The world I grew up in. It's like a completely different dimension. It's like one's non-fiction and another is sci-fi. There's no way to even compare the two. And that's how different this is. That was how I saw things in, as just an ordinary person, but then... I see. I never imagined I would hear the name Finru in a place like this. Huh? You recognize it? Naturally. The Finru Mercenary Corps is a collection of battle-crazed warmongers. But they do have their uses, and they always get the job done. That's worth remembering. It's all part of a world totally removed from the one I live in. Hmm. I have to say, I'm intrigued. Every rumor of hers is that Finra is already found it. Oh. Whoa! I feel like our hero is becoming a bit player and a bit player is becoming our hero. Huh? Ah, it's you. Wah -wah. Hmm. What have you got in your pretty little hand there? What? Uh oh! You found her profile. So, so what if we did? Hey! <laughs> Don't freak out on me. I'm not gonna hold it against you or anything. And then, <clears throat> in case you're wondering. I don't hold it against Kyoko either, even though she stole it and hid it. After all, there's no rule against stealing, is there? <laughs> but who I can't forgive is Miss Agami who broke the rules and busted into the headmaster's room. Maybe I'll drag her corpse out here and slice it up and devour it. There's our omni of never you know. What? Our rule violations are really so unforgivable. Hi. You're quite adamant about these regulations of yours. <laughs> <laughs> of course I am! A proper school life is built on the dedication to organization and order. Which is why even I, as a school headmaster, have to follow the regulations myself. Oh, so you're saying you have to follow your own rules as well? Of course! Absolutely! I can't have you complaining about how it's unfair, you know. Now can I? Hmm. In fact, on the subject of fairness, would you like to know something interesting? Interesting? <laughs> it's about the one writing all the rules. They're actually one of the participants in the killing game. I don't think I ever actually told you how many participants there actually were, did I? I guess <sighs> not. I was thinking I should probably clarify that. Hey, um... When you all first got together in the main hall back when there were 15 people there, right? I think that first meeting may have led to a little misunderstanding among you all. <laughs> a misunderstanding? Are you saying... In other words... That's right! There weren't actually 15 of you! Yes, indeed! The total number of students taking part in this killing game was actually 16! 16? Then... Yukuro Ikusaba, the 16th student. I guess you hear that. Somewhere in this so the reason I'm not reading it is because she says it. But if you guys can't hear it, then I guess I should say it. Or maybe you can just read it yourself now, seeing I, like, left it there for so long. You guys know how to read, right? The one Probably not to read better than me, ultimate anyway. despair. Uh, yeah. Watch out for her. Watch out for her. <laughs> Meow. The 16th student, Yukuro Ukosaba. She's part- I don't know, I have to say it like that every time. Just because she has a really cool name. So, the one making all the regulations is... <laughs> yeah, Barakia's mad face. That's the Why? Why? Hmm. Did you say something? <laughs> Why are you telling us this? Hmm. Oh, well, because... <laughs> like I told you, this killing game is desperately popular. You wouldn't believe the ratings. And since we've got so many viewers now, I wanted to make sure everyone was on the same page. I don't want to wake up to a hurricane of complaints and hate mail, you know? Yes, indeed. Make sense? Well, now. Okay, that's all you get for now. Oh, actually... I do have some revenge to get, so I have an extra bonus for you! Revenge? Yeah. <laughs> I want to get back at that sneaky Miss Kitagiri, so I'm going to share a little secret with ya! S seriously? Hey, um... You know how she wears those stupid gloves day in and day out all the time? Well, don't tell anyone I told you, but... <laughs> she wears them to cover a bunch of hideous scars that she doesn't want anyone to see. What? <laughs> okay, now that's all you get. Ooh, 
Kyoko wears those gloves to cover a bunch of scars? <laughs> wait, so on the back of her hand. <laughs> uh, wait, does she wear gloves all the time? I thought she like, oh, ew, maybe she does paint her nails. But that's still not her hair color. And I don't think she wears, she wears boots. Like, well, those do look like boots, but... That almost like her boots? I don't know, man. Kyoko can't be dead, man. That's what I have to say. Monokuma specifically said they were scars, right? And that's why Kyoko wears those gloves to hide the scars, which means that these head bones hurt my ears, and I should probably not wear them. Those fake nails on the porch. Hmm. Um, are you thinking of Kyoko again? Huh? What? Forget about her. What matters right now is uncovering Monokuma's trap. His trap? See, it is a trap! So when I said tarp as trap, it was just like an inclination, Such man. I knew about it. God must have really hated you to make you so dull. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Fiaki is fucking savage as fuck. <laughs> god hates you! <laughs> Don't you remember that Monokuma just told us? It said there were 16 students, right? Which means Mikuro was a student here. That's right. Obviously, Monokuma was trying to tell us that Yuko is the one creating the rules for the game. Well, he didn't say that, he just said the player was. But why would he tell us that? And why now? He said he wanted to make things clear so there wouldn't be any complaints later. But the mere fact that he said that proves that Yuko is connected to this case. That's why Monokuma revealed the existence of his 16 students. He needs to make our investigation fair. Yukuro is related to the case? It's certainly Perhaps possible. Perhaps she's the one who killed Kyogo. What? Hmm. That would explain why we would have to have a class trial, wouldn't it? Blah, words! If she's a student, she killed someone. That would make her part of the school killing game. Yuko is the killer? She killed Kyoko? Hmm. Anyone should be able to come up, come to that conclusion, don't you think? In fact, that's exactly what I thought when the investigation first what? began. But, based on what Monokuma just told us, I've changed my mind. It's all clear now. Yukuro Ukusabu isn't the culprit. Huh? What makes you say that? Hmm. We thought Mugo, the ultimate despair, was the mastermind's true identity. But if that's true, Monokuma's behavior makes no sense. Why would the mastermind go out of their way to reveal themselves to us? That's a good point. So, in other words... Mugo giving us information that would raise questions about her would be bold, to say the least. It makes more sense than to assume that Yuko isn't the culprit. So that's the trap. <clears throat> they want us to suspect Yuko and come to the wrong conclusion. What are you talking about, Manny? I don't. What are you talking about? <laughs> Who? What? I just mean by her by her own choice. I heard it. What are you talking about, Manny? Whose own choice? Are you talking about suicide? I hope you. They want to suspect Miko and come to the wrong conclusion. <laughs> that's what makes sense to me. The way you say it, it definitely does seem possible, but if that's really true, if Miko isn't the killer, then who is? <laughs> well then, I believe our work here is finished. Let's move on. I'm sure there are other places in need of investigation. I should find out that he and the Doja really are connected. Let's oh go. yeah, I forgot all about that. Well, are you coming? Oh yeah, baby, I'm coming. I'm coming. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I'll behave. My bad. My bad. Okay. <laughs> there are wooden lockers here. They use wood block keys. It's like at those super traditional public bathhouses. It looks like the key we found in Kyoko's room really does go to one of these lockers. I Can I have see. it? Hey, can I have it? Can I have the key now? Makoto, do you see the locker furthest to the right? Very strange. Yeah, the one that says number six on it. <laughs> That's the one that doesn't have a key in it at that moment. At the moment, uh, you understand what that means, right? Well, I, well, there's a six on the key and there's a six on the lock, so I'm assuming they go together. Is that what it means? I should probably use the key we found on that locker, right? Because they both have the number six on it. Well, just try it. Oh, okay. God damn it! I hate, I hate this game sometimes. I took out the wood block key and inserted it into the lockers metal. Oh, metal lock. <laughs> that was not the word key. Damn it. Click. Got it. The locker eagerly accepted the key and it opened. Ooh, that sounds like really dirty. It eagerly accepted the key and it opened. Sorry. I'll be good. I'll be good, I promise. I'm sorry. 
<laughs> there are arrows in here. It looks like ten arrows in total. Oh god, I have to remember that too. <laughs> but five chickens and ten arrows later. They look like they're made of titanium, which means they're quite strong despite how thin they are. Of course, without a bow, there's nothing but strong little sticks. Strong sticks. Titanium arrows have been added to the troop. Why? Why do I care about that? Oh, there's something else inside the locker. It's a watered up ball of duct tape. I wonder what this was used for. Is that a blood stain? No, it's a bubble gum Kool Aid stain. God damn it. I'm sorry, I spilled it. If it is, that means it must surely be related to the case. This duct tape is related to the case somehow? But how could it possibly be involved? I don't know. But it's bloody fucking duct tape, so it has to be involved somehow, right? I think that's all the locker has to offer for now. 